Oh man, it's over for academics. Academics is a hypocrite. Academics is a simp. He's the worst. All this is what his own fans are saying about him. So I go on Reddit when I'm looking for stories. I'm looking for shit to talk about or whatever. And I just happened to like was mentioned, not mentioned, but I was happened to be recommended the academics um, Reddit page. I'm like, let me go on here and see what they be talking about on here. All I get on here, niggas is exposing him for being with the chick that they say beat up his mama. He did this. He did that. So let's just go through this Reddit real quick. So this academics right here. He got the ski mask on. Uh, he's with the chick that they saying beat up his mama, which if you get with a chick that beat up your mama, that's the, you got to admit, that's kind of OD crazy. Now, she's a pretty chick, but academics has sold a bill of goods that he's this millionaire nigga. He this, he that. Like, he don't even need to deal with no chicks like this. But it looks like he back with her. I just wanted to talk about this just to show, like, fans are, like, they're ruthless. And maybe... They're not even ruthless. Maybe it's like our favorite creator sold us a bill of goods that now he himself is not following. He sold us a lifestyle, hard on thoughts movement when we came in the game, and now he looks to be soft on him. So this is her and him in L.A. Like when he's doing the little Dirk interview, he got the damn ski. Now maybe he got the ski on because he's in L.A. He don't want nobody to notice him. Maybe that's the reasoning. But regardless, he knows he's being filmed, so he's cool with it. So regardless of all y'all niggas talking shit, he not hiding it. Because obviously, like I said, he knows that she is posting him on social media. The one thing I thought about when I saw this, though, and obviously he's not dead, he's still alive, is that you don't want her to be one of them girls that get blamed when something happened to him. He is in L.A. Shit gets tricky in L.A. Academics do look like a nigga. That niggas in L.A. We're probably like, that's an easy lick. That's an easy come up. So hopefully when she's posting all this shit, because it only takes one thing. Them niggas in L.A., they know where everything is. They say you pass by a Popeye's and a UPS right next to each other. Oh, he on 55th and 4th. You got to be careful with shit like that. But regardless, his people on his ass, right? So here you go. Bro, I had so much respect for Ag, but this nigga really is lame as fuck. Right? They got Ag, we see you simp. It's too late. We know you took uh, back the chick that beat your mom up and exposed you. And then they got the memes going. He looked like Shrek when he was going to save Fiona. But it wasn't even that. Like, I even know that was to get, like, see, like I said, she posting this shit when he doing the interview with Dirk. She going OD with it, right? And then they had one over here where they was uh where his birthday happened, right? They they they, they clowning the nigga for getting back with the chick while they celebrating the birthday party. This is her, his 30, whatever birthday party. She's celebrating for him. She's setting up for him. She seemed like she's trying to get back in his good graces. But it made me think like one thing. I get it. He sold y'all niggas a bill of goods that maybe he ain't cashing it on himself. But have y'all never been in a, a, a relationship with a woman where everything wasn't so peachy cream? Like, think about it. This is what I think about celebrity shit. This is why I, I try not to be super critical of celebrities, right? And I wouldn't be critical of academics right here because, like I said, I get it. Y'all mad he sold y'all niggas a bill of goods that he is not cashing in on. He is not hard on thoughts. He is soft on them. You see him his last girlfriend. Wasn't the last girlfriend beating the, tearing the shit up? Angela, whatever her name is. And he got back with her. So it's not like y'all ain't seen this shit coming. Selena Powell called him the N-word with a hard, a hard R, expose him at time after time after time. He get a bitch a show. Obviously, he is not hard on a woman like y'all think he is. So I don't understand as fans why y'all keep putting expectation on that man. And he's showing y'all he don't do that shit. But my point is, the thing about celebrity in, in real life is like, the shit we see happening in celebrity isn't an anomaly. It isn't something that we should be surprised by because in everyday regular life, people go through the same exact shit. Now, y'all tell me it was worse because I was thinking about this. Because a lot of y'all niggas probably with a girl who cheated on y'all. And she cheated on y'all and y'all went back with her. But hear me out. Let me ask you a question. Is, is it worse to get cheated on or to get back with a chick that beat up on your mama? Now, I don't know this full context of this beating up on the mama shit. When I remember hearing it, like, she slammed his mama hand into a door or something like that, right? Not really beat her up. Y'all made it seem like they was, like, on some Christian rock, beat him up, two-piece Tuesday. But from what I saw, it was, like, you know, smash your finger in the door, which is still crazy. Me, pers personally, I probably would go with, I can't get with a chick that beat up my mama. Cheating, you know, maybe it's something you could try to work through, high-value man shit, you know. But beating up your mama, that's another... That's another ecosystem. That's another stratosphere. But like I said, everybody in academics read it, which read it already is if you're a creator, I ain't gonna lie to you. You probably shouldn't have read it. Reddit has been the downfall of a many creators. No Jumper was the downfall of, of Reddit was the downfall of No Jumper. The best thing for academics to do is not even mention the Reddit. Don't even like give it any life. Don't give it any liberty. Because that, for some reason, when people see these things, this is like the cesspool of the internet. They want to, I was, I was on the No Jumper Reddit, right? Because that's how I be looking for stories and shit to talk about. 
There was a nigga that got on the No Jumper Reddit. He said, we need to get to the bottom of AD. Is he a real crip or is he not? He met Pun when he was 25. We got to really look. And he did a whole detailed analysis on why AD is probably a fake crip. It's like, these niggas on Reddit got too much time on him. It's entertaining. Memes are funny. Should be funny. But some of the people that are in these Reddits make you really sit back thinking, like, if I was a creator, do I want to engage with my Reddit? Because the Reddit seems to bring out the worst of the worst when it comes to your fans in your fandom. Now, academics, um, you see other posts in here saying he's scared to go on stream to talk about him being back with the chick because y'all niggas ain't going to go nowhere. Y'all niggas love academics. No matter what he do, y'all was there with the Angelina girl. Y'all going to be there with the Selena shit. Y'all going to be there with this girl. Like, that's a grown-ass man. Why are other grown-ass men so worried about this grown-ass man doing? And I already know it because he sold y'all niggas a bill of goods. Same reason if y'all see Myron or Fresh do some shit that goes against their you know, their, their value system that they preach to y'all, y'all going to be upset by it. But at the end of the day, you got to look back, like st- take a step back from celebrity and think about real life. That's why I don't feel like a lot of this internet shit, like the, the whole like manosphere dating space is really rooted in like hard reality because a lot of things that they do, they will themselves partake in, right? We talk shit about the whole culture, but we will only pick up girls that are from the club that are hoes. Like what do we really want to do here? What's really the underlying message of this? Academics clown this girl, or not clown her. She says she had a, she about to get a fake abortion. She beat up his mama from what y'all are saying. That looks to be like, hey, I'm a millionaire, high value man. That's automatic grounds for dismissal. But there must be something about her. Maybe she got good sex or something. Maybe he feels like she completes him. Maybe she's a good assistant. I don't know what it is. But at the end of the day, when you see these in their personas, that's a, when the cam- when these cameras cut on. Niggas can click into whatever they need to click into. When the cameras come off, that real emotion, that real life, that real love, that shit comes into play. He probably really loved his girl. Like I said, me looking at it, beating up your mama, that's crazy. Like, I don't know what the beating up is. If he like, she really like was poop, 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 beating up your mama, getting back with her is kind of OD. Especially the way you hear him speak about his mama. If she really beat down your mama, that's crazy. But like, if it was an accidental hand slam, maybe you can get over that. But like I said, my main point for making this video was I saw the Reddit. I thought this shit was funny. Obviously, academics isn't hiding it from y'all niggas that he wants to do it. But a lot of you guys in the Reddit are mad about him getting back with this young lady. When I say just take a step back and look at you in your life and look at the shit that you probably done put your situation, you to put yourself in when it came to women. The only thing difference between you and him is that your shit is not public. That's the only thing. Like you gotta really put that time in and stay focused and control your shit, control your business. You feel me? Control your dream, control whatever you wanna do. You be in control of it. Don't let nobody else be in control of your shit, or don't let nobody else sidetrack you where you not in control of it no more. You feel me? Don't worry about nobody's opinion, none of that.